Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a tiny village by the name of Kamiki. Legend tells of a horrible beast that threatened the residents. It also tells of the wolf that risked it all to protect them. Controlling the very fabric of existence, this wolf stood up against a beast many times its size and banished the darkness. This ethereal wolf's valiant act ushered in an era of tranquility. The villagers' hearts swelled with respect and adoration of the wolf. I'm about it. <laughs> cool. Well, all right. Hello, travelers. Welcome to a new game. Well, it's a new game for me. This one's a little bit on the older side, uh, 2006 to be specific. And funny enough, this year seems to be the year of Capcom for me. But basically, instead of a zombie survival horror game, we have Okami, a game that I've known about its existence since what is that, 20, it's, uh, it's, uh, and then it released, re released in 2017. It's been, I mean, hell over 10 years, Jesus. It's been, what, 14 years? Oh my god. This game's been out for a hot minute. I believe it first came out on the Wii back in the day. But this is the uh, HD remaster of it. And I just never got around to playing it, and I wanted something that I can vibe with right now, because it's very, these times can be very stressful and trying for all of us, and, uh, want to just kind of relax here, so let's do this. Okay, so here's the thing. Cut from the game for a second just to be 100% real. So due to technical difficulties I had when I first started recording this game, I have, I have a bit of an issue here. So I've already played the first hour, and it was a great, really fun first hour, fun experience. It all went super well. For some odd reason, I, Elgato was screwing up on me. So for this video and the end of my Control DLC video, it did this weird thing where once I recorded for an hour, it would take the entire hour, chop off the end, only give me 20 minutes, and then the audio was like super sped. It was really weird. It was a weird tech thing. So I, I kind of lost it all basically. And I was really upset. It bummed me out. I had like a bit of a breakdown about it. But you know what? That's not what this is about. It wasn't the game's fault. It was the software. So I'm, I've uninstalled, redownloaded the software. But to be true to a playthrough, I'm gonna do it from the beginning. But just so you know, I although I'm gonna still put my heart and soul into it, and I'm still really dig, I'm digging this game and the vibes, and this is really relaxing and fun and funny. I am going to uh, start it, start it again, and play the first hour again as well. So that's my plan. Um, I just wanted to preface this by saying that, so without further ado, gonna go do this, gonna go up, and I'm gonna do a new game, and I'm just gonna start from the scratch. And if for some reason this doesn't work, then it's not meant to be, but you know what? I hope it's gonna work this time, so, new game. Okami. So forgive me if I butcher any of the names, I'm trying my best here, but like I said, I have played the first hour and I lost the footage so I'm this is me doing it again I'm ready though story Hideki Kamaya long long ago a tiny hamlet known as Kamakai they nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. 
Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honored as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. <laughs> Ghidorah? To satiate the appetite of Orochi, a fearsome cave-dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain, eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood-red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared to disobey the horrific beast. Yeah, I love the art style in this game too. I'll keep saying that, but it's really pleasing. It's a nice aesthetic. When the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shirunai. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Sheronai. The warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Sheronai's swift movements. Again, I'm trying, I think these are how the names are pronounced, but this is all kind of off the cuff. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely in two. The home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all, Nagi traveled to the beast's cave in place of his beloved. The Moon Cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home, as Nagi stood bravely before the entrance. A beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel. The blade left nary a scratch. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shurunai, the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Burying its fearsome claws, Shurunai leapt toward Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, readying its fanes for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shirunai summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Orochi's flames. As Orochi closed in on Shirunai, sharpened claws glistening, a gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shidonai fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mystical power, was not easily bested. Shirunai, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Orochi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow. 
But Shinonai refused to give in. With its last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary. Channeling all his strength into his scarred and battered arms, he leapt ferociously toward Orochi, his sword poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads separated from their owner. Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shironai had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamakai. When they reached the village, Shuranai was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shuranai let out a hoarse and pitiful bark, then closed its eyes and drifted off as if into slumber. Peace had at last returned to Kamakai village. In honor of Shironai's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. The best boy, truly the best boy. Nagi's sword was christened Sukuyomi, Sukuyomi? Was, christ was christened Sukuyomi and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. However, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. One hundred years have passed since Nagi and Shironai's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Dope. Uh oh. You fool! Oh, hang on. So, <laughs> sorry. Is this the legendary sword? Is this Sukuyomi, the sword that banished the dreaded Orochi? <sighs> no, it couldn't be. It's just a legend, nothing but a fairy tale. <laughs> Whoops. Good job, buddy. <laughs> like! <laughs> like zoinks! Oh. Nope. Oh, he who seeks power. He who has broken my bonds. Speak the words. I wish darkness unto the world. Utter that prayer unto me and unleash my power. Uh. <laughs> like, let's get out of here. <laughs> I mean, he didn't speak the words. I mean, technically, he didn't say anything. Oh, ch Our ink shall blot out the sun, and then we shall, then we shall write in the shade. 
a horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kamakai Village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Uh oh. Oh, my throat's giving me problems, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Hello. Wood Sprite Sakuya. A title card. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I have spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Emma now is the time. Oh, physics. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Hi, ya. Boom. I have the power. Bork, anime. Wakami, Amaterasu. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ah, such divine way. <laughs> I remember I did make this joke. Such divine white light. Divine. <laughs> he is beauty. He is grace. <laughs> He'll bork all those bad guys right back in their place. Ah, such divine white light. Such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is, Emma Terasu. How delightful to see that the savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. Oh, sit, sit, good dog. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> he's, an, he's a sleepy boy. Uh, is that it? He's just gonna just gonna lay down now and just gonna nap. Emma Terasu, gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our midst, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon, but never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Oh, also I didn't see that there's the, the little ass for some reason. Her, her took us. Huh? Eh, what is this? Has something stolen its way into my row? Uh. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, hee hee. This ain't that kind of movie, folks, I swear. I promise. Oh, hello. Wow! Whew! What on earth? That's a very interesting dress she has on. Daphne! You again? Huh. You again. Alright, time for my rendition of Typhon de Leon. Ow, wow, wow, wow! Are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to, to make the conversation a bit more interesting, that's all. Are you napping in my clothes again, Bug? That raises a lot of civil civil rights violations. Or I guess, like, workplace violations. Bug, I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering, uh, I'm a, a wandering artist. The name's Asun. Wandering artist, assume. <laughs> Fucking hey, 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 bang. Fucking brown. I'll show you just how great I am, and it won't be long till you're a bow before my great brush. Oh, <laughs> gets me every time. I'm <laughs> wonderful, beautiful, just like that. Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? 
doing, 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 gah. He, he gonna eat you up. What's with you, furball? You look kind of down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it. You look just like that statue of Shadow Nye. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay, I ate him. Whoa, what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You'll regret messing with the greatest soon. I'm gonna paint you a new one. Don't make me use my prized sword, Dankomaru, against you. Oh god. I believe we have more pressing matters to attend to. Ooh, what's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh, great god, Amaterasu. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamakai Village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free, and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? That Sakuya girl sure said some weird stuff. The village's spirits are being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit! You know, the fruit where the villagers are being kept inside. The fruit is what it is, up there. That's it! The fruit! That girl said that if you cut it down, the village will be restored. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. So I do kind of know what to do from here. But yeah, here are the controls. I know I did, uh, let's see, I can't do the camera or anything yet. So I basically have to go get the power to cut that fruit down. So, in we go to get my new power. But yeah, I'm digging the game so far. Where are we? It got awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the right stick to look around. L1 changes your point of view. Boy, you really look so helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? I'll be fine. Now, I thought I changed the controls to invert everything. Um, or to reinvert it, because I don't like the whole right to look left and all that stuff. But in the meantime, I'll change the, the camera to uh, this. I seem to dig this a lot so far. And then we have our save points. Hold on. That's an origin mirror. They say once your reflection appears on it, its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity. Well, to put it shortly, it can save your progress here. And let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. You know, <laughs> Rossetti over here. That way, you can always go back if you get stuck or something. Gotta be prepared, especially while you're still learning the ropes. Cool. Uh, save. Yeah, I think it'll show. Yeah, I got a good 54 minutes in in the previous save, so, uh, new save. But so far, we're making good time, so. Cool. But yeah, I got the hang of this, so this should go by a little bit quicker. It's a shame, because it was like watching a learning experience and I was figuring stuff out. Look at all those pots just waiting to be broken! <laughs> Do I hear Zelda? If you bust them, there might be something good inside. Press square to bust them with your head. I hope the voice isn't too annoying, I feel like I keep having the same inflection. Way to go, my furry friend! You can do that anytime you see something you can break. Yoink, 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 yoink. Yay! 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 Wow! Oh, I don't know I can do that. Wow! So if I go, wow, I can go, wow. Cool. <laughs> All right. And then we get the wall jump up here. Whoa! 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 Hold on there, furball. Get a load of that. That chest looks mighty tempting. Let's go check it out. And getting up that high ought to be a piece of cake. Press X to jump. 
Then, press X again to do a wall jump. But make sure you press it firmly so you jump really high. hi ya I knew you could do it. They say good luck is found in high places. So keep your eyes peeled. We don't want to miss any treasure. Cool. A bone. You obtained the Holy Bone S. Amaterusu's favorite snack restores three units of solar energy. So health, I assume. Yeah. Or I shouldn't say I assume. I'm pretty sure I know that's the that's the case now. And uh, oh, I didn't even see those guys over here. Smashy, smashy. Oh, wow. Cool. Yoink, yoink. Onward. Uh-oh. Looks like the bridge is out! <laughs> That's just astute observation. This shouldn't be so hard. Um, Emma Terusu, was it? That's kind of long. Mind if I call you Amy? Listen, Amy. Ever heard of the Spirits of the Brush? Good brushwork has its own soul. At least that's what they say. Just watch, it'd take all day to explain. A picture's worth a thousand words, right? T me, Typhon the Leon. Heroes come in all shapes and sizes. Nice, huh? Just a little technique I have mastered called rejuvenation. It's one of many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god. You know, I'm a god. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. Now, I've practiced really hard just to master this one technique. But there are 13! It's like you collect them or something. Each one is a power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate gods. The gods now dwell within objects all around us, but... God or no god, how could anyone have the power to master all 13? Unless you are the Avatar. I won the won. River of the Heavens. The River of the Heavens? They mean the fabled Stardust River? But I sure don't see anything like that around here. It couldn't be that little puddle over there, could it? Oh, coinage. It probably is. I gotta go over here, up the hill. Very nice. Wow! Look at the stars twinkle. I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look! Are those stars forming a pattern, or is it just me? Hmm, there's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star like a god. Boink! <laughs> uh, bah. Uh, looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Press R1 to hold the brush, then square to draw. I sure spent a heck of a lot of time practicing that. Uh, Alright. And then I go, uh, boink! Hell yeah. And then I was like, holy shit! Badass dragon. Ah, oh, what if it isn't Mother Amaterusu? I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Have you never forgotten you? Hi, Yomigami, God of Restoration have eagerly awaited this day, when we could again meet. While you were away, the thirteen spirits of the brush that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land of men, and now lie in disarray. I became a constellation, and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. I have the power! Wow! 
Oh, that was Yomigami, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of the heavens? Well, that would mean you were as good with the brush as yours truly. Nah, <laughs> it couldn't even be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? You know, because I'm a, I'm a god. That's great. Alright. Oh. River of the Heavens. River of the Heavens. Wonder if drawing some stardust could get the river flowing again. Nah, it's one thing to fix a bridge, but fixing a starry river? There's no way you could pull that off. You could pull a... St There's no way you could pull off a stunt like that. Well... Just so happens that I have played this a little bit before, so I recall how to do just that. Paint the bridge, paint it all. Yoink! Whoa! A river of stardust! So this really must be the river of the heavens. But what I really want to know is who the heck drew the darn thing? Well, that, that, that'd be me there, buddy. So I guess the Okami is the uh, is a silent protagonist, aside from some general uh, gurs, gruffs, and guffaws. It's funny because if you don't go for the chest, I, I was trying to loot for coins, so like I was over here and whatnot. And then if you go t if you go too far forward, he starts yelling at you like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're just gonna ignore that treasure chest? You'll end up in the poorhouse if you overlook stuff like that." <laughs> Not up for looting, apparently, so... Doink! You obtained Astral Pouch. Look what you found, Furball! This Astral Pouch here is amazing! It can swallow up lots of food! And then when it's full, it can revive its owner if he or she dies. Let's start feeding it with whatever food we can find around here. Cool. Yeah, I can't record too long tonight. My voice is, like... Partially shot from trying this last night when the recording failed and then also like working today. So <laughs> I've been talking a lot today. You consumed orange Orange with sharp citrus taste fills astral pouch a little bit You consumed peach juicy and fragrant peach fills astral pouch a little bit You consumed apple Nectar-filled sour apple fills astral pouch a little bit. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> I was I fell for his mystical powers. You'll regret this, flowers. If you want to fight me, <laughs> I swear to God, I haven't sat down and watched Scott Pilgrim in a minute. Really random thought, but I'm full of those these days. A little bit of coinage, some yen. Just a little bit. Yeah, there was something I, I definitely made a bigger deal about in my first playthrough was the uh, that memoirs of a geisha-looking chick, the uh, the girl who woke the woman who woke us up. Uh, her dress not only has a little keyhole for her uh, cleavage, but also for her buttocks, which was uh, interesting. You obtained a stray bead. Find all the scattered beads and get a special reward. Cool. And I believe, if I recall correctly, there's only one in this area. Boundin, boundin. What does that say? Fountain of Nagi. Nagi? What's his name doing here? I mean, I didn't even try to swim in it. Oh, jeez. Alright. I tried to explore, and then on my way out, a lot of these things kept respawning, so I was confused. Get all that yen. All that juicy, juicy yen. You consumed dumplings. Doughy balls made from grain. Fills astral pouch a little bit. Nice. Doink. Hey. Bound and bound and bound and boing, boing, boing. Wee. Yeah. 
full speed ahead! Oh my god. Cool. Now he's a tired boy. And we have the cave. Well, hello. Fool. <laughs> is this... It, is this the legendary shrine? We must be in the cave of Nagi! The legendary hero Nagi is enshrined here. He vanquished evil a hundred years ago with the help of the white wolf Shironai. First the river of the heavens and now this place. Where the heck are we, furball? Boy, this place is a wreck. See, that sword's in really bad shape. The gods sure didn't do much to protect this place. I keep bouncing back and forth between like a light, like little flea, like a, like a light little voice and then like full on Typhon de Leon from Borderlands 3. Remember, always carry your back cam. I mean, that must be something we could do. Sorry, I got distracted. He's basically like hinting towards like renovating the sword. So that is where we use ah uh, yoink magic. Oh, that really was your brushwork all this time. How'd you get so good? Exactly, who are you anyway? Hey, there's another constellation. This one looks like a uh, like stars. Like a ray. Now, it's gonna be a lot less fun, a, a lot less funny uh, than it was when I tried. So, in my first playthrough, I kept thinking I had to trace this like that, and I tried about 20 times before realizing that all I needed was a simple snoot boop. So, it was a lot funnier my first try, I'm sorry, but... Holy shit! This, this kid's going ham! Well, 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 if it isn't Mother Amateur Sue! It's been a long time, but with all these monsters around, the, the only place I could hide was in the shrine dedicated to ancient heroes. If there is anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors... I'm at your service. Make good use of this sword, as it was designed to conquer evil. <laughs> what a rat goes places. Hi. -ya! <laughs> hey, uh, that was the god Tachigami, master of the power slash technique, the slash. Wait a minute. It, if you're getting all these powers, then. You're just like that shit and I. You know, the wolf who fought and died alongside the great Nagi? When Shirunai, when Shirunai died, the wolf's power was split into the 13 brush gods. This is crazy. Shirunai and Nagi? It's just like the legend. Well, anyway, I've never seen this power slash technique myself. How about showing your stuff off on that boulder over there? Let me see you slice it in half by drawing a single line. I won't believe it till I see it. <laughs> can't be a god like me, can you? Show. Wow! <laughs> I didn't think you had it in you, furball. I'm not even in the same league as you. Guess I really overestimated myself. Uh, hey, furball. Uh, I mean, Amaterasu. Su. I made up my mind. If you're Shirunai reborn, then that means you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along until I'm as good as you. Lucky you! Uh. <laughs> it's no use trying to change my mind. There's no stopping me once I've made a decision. But enough about me. Now that you've mastered the power slash, you can cut down that thing that Sakuya was talking about. Let's go back and give it a shot. Alright. Whee! And I have the objective arrows now. A very stylish statue, and now... hi yo. Alright, let's go. And now we have a first taste of combat. Oh my god, those jumps. And now it's like... <laughs> what the? Where'd they come from? Ah, uh, whatever. Draw first, ask questions later, right? You know that divine instrument you have on your back? Well... Press the square to use its power against them. Like that, like that, like that. And then I'm like, look, Amy. Once you've caught them off guard and turned them black and white, 
They're easy prey for your brush, no matter how nasty they are. Grab your brush and give them a power slash. Hi, yo. And then finish them off with the old one, two, three. And then you're our next friend, oh. Ha, yeah, yeah. Watch. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Watch out. Ka, ka, ka. Uh oh. They're not dead yet. Uh, wa, 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 wa. Oh, is he dead? There we go. Nice. You obtained ink bottle. A bottle full of ink fills one of Emma Sue's ink pots. Cool. Time, damage, money, and a bonus. Cool. Yep. And then, like, in this area, these respawn every now and then for some reason. So I do want to make sure I've kind of got a close approximation to how much gen I had before. Because, look, I'll go over here. I'll smash this guy. Then I'll go further over here. And I'll keep on smashing. And, like, they'll all pop back in. It's weird. See? Wait, right? Yeah, they pop back in. I'm not gonna farm the whole time. Don't worry, I'm just gonna grab a little bit more. A little bit for the road. And, yeah, why not? And one to grow on. Yeah, so far I've only met the two uh, brush gods and their respective trophies gathered, so I'm almost right to where I was. Ugh, excuse me, I'm getting close. Whee! Should be some combat down here, if I recall. There it is, yeah. Waka, 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 waka! Waka, 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 waka! Woo! Very nice. Cool. Lupine and Divine. Oh, nice. I guess it's a combat trophy. Cool. I've conquered some foes. Let's go back. Yeah. I'm happy because I'm almost caught up to where I was and the footage, it's, everything's captured properly now, so everything after this first episode... God, I really wish that first episode went through because it was so pure and, like, wholesome and I loved it. But it's okay, because I'm still having a good time. I'm still getting the, the series out. And after this first episode, it's going to be all fresh blood for me. And even so, I have no problem reliving this right now. I'm digging it. Onward, doggo. Yeah, good old pupper. Senior Borkin stuff. Smash a few more pots on my way at the door. Yeah, I wonder how long I can do combat without taking damage. I'm sure as the boss fights come up, which I'm sure there will be boss fights, that I'll definitely start taking more damage, but... Also, on this uh, run of this first part now, I've significantly cut down my time, because I believe... I mean, granted, I haven't gotten to right to where I'm caught up yet, but it was just about at an hour. And then, uh, I'll save when I get back over here. Because there are a few things that I stumbled upon when I was- uh, I stumbled on when I was trying to figure them out, but saving time now. Like this. And here we... Whoops. Damn it. There we go. And yoink. And restore. Oh, the foliage! Wow! Wow! The village has been restored! Sakuya came through big time! She really was protecting the village. 
But I sure wish I could have spent some more time in her kimono. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm really a 45 year old man. I'm like Danny DeVito. But seriously, with monsters running around and all, the village could still be in danger. Let's go see how they're all doing down there. Sounds good to me. Cool. So yeah, we restored the village. But... If I recall, everybody's been turned to a statue. Hello? What in the world? I don't remember there being a statue here. Oh, whatever. Let's go talk to the villagers. And I'm like, boom. Are you nuts? What do you think you're doing? <coughs> and before I go up there, yeah, I'm just following my, my path right now. Go back down here and then I'm like, oh my god, everybody is turned to stone. It's like, uh-oh. I try to read signs and he's like, we don't have time to stroll around reading all the signs. And then we're like, oh no. Hey, there's a statue here too. It's like the village is suddenly turned to stone or something. Not again. That's not one of those small monsters they're lurking about. A roar like that's gotta belong to something much bigger. Let's hurry up and find somebody with a pulse around here. And this is where I stopped off. So, you know what? Yeah, I'll make it uh, significantly shorter than my first go through, which uh, it's bittersweet. Let's go ahead and save my game. Accessing the hard disk drive. And bound to Oh, really? Really? Same amount of time? Oh, I wouldn't have guessed. Well, cool. So yeah, um, this is the official episode that you're going to be seeing on YouTube. Again, it's unfortunate, but I'm, I'm, I was able to make this work, and I'm happy now with the results. So like I said, at the beginning of this episode, I had recorded the first, my, my, it was an hour video, but I had recorded the first like 54 minutes of the game. Pause, um, going to pause it real quick. And um, yeah, I had recorded it, so I had played through it and I knew what was happening, but now I'm fully caught up, and I gotta say, I'm so excited to play this series, and I'm I'm years late. As I mentioned at the beginning, I, um, this came out in like 06. It was remastered in 2017 for, uh, for newer consoles and all that, in HD, and it's just a game that I'd always been meaning to play for a while, but never had, so I figure it's chill, it's good vibes, it's nice, it's a wholesome, fun game. Well, wholesome except for that kimono bit, but, you know, I don't know. But I'm having fun with this one. I'm ready to have a lot of fun with this one. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's my first, that's like the first hour or so, give or take, of, uh, Okami. And I can't wait to play through the series. So, I appreciate you joining me on this ride. Um, I'm having fun with the voice acting, play around, playing around with the voices and all this stuff. It's, it's going to be a fun time. I'm really excited for this one. I hope you enjoy it, too. And yeah, stay tuned for the next episode that I do of Okami. Or at a, at a Sanu, at a, I just I forgot his name. Stay tuned. Um, I appreciate the support. Goodbye, travelers. <laughs>